Hey guys, Dark Swordsman here, and I'm sorry in advance, I do not have Adobe installed, so I wasn't able to edit this video, so it's going to be kind of choppy, I'm um, sorry, in advance. Um, so today I have a Besiege creation, um, it's based off a lot of other creations that people have made, and a couple of videos I watched on YouTube. Um, so basically what it is, is you have the Perpetual Motion Engine over here, which consists of the three uh, separate Perpetual Motion Engines in a way. Um, this is basically to overcome all the torque of the gears and everything. Uh, the second thing here is the clutch. Uh, it's just basically in and out and then it attaches. And then the actual transmission, um, which is based off of a couple of videos I watched of how they work in real life. Um, basically what it is is you have uh, you have the flywheel here that comes from the engine and the, and the clutch. Um, clutch engages, uh, the engine spins the clutch, thus spinning the flywheel, um, and then you have this side set of gears here. Um, now the way it works on a real engine is uh, these main gears here would be connected to a rod, and that rod, uh, I'm sorry, they wouldn't be connected to a rod. They would be free-floating on the rod, and these set of wheels here would turn these wheels. Um, and then these gears on the outside uh, there would be a rod there that has teeth on it, and they could slide freely on it. Um, this is basically an inverted version of it, but um, it works pretty much the same way. Um, now, because Besiege doesn't let anything slide on an axis, or, or slide on a rod or anything, um, I had to kind of improvise with this little device over here that lets it slide in and out. Um, but basically what it does is, let me start it up. Okay, so you have the engine turning, and it starts spinning up really fast, blah, blah, blah. Um, oh yeah, by the way, uh, so the way that these look, they do look like swastikas, but that is not how they were intended to look. Um, basically, I found that this provides almost tw twice as much power as instead of having them linear. So instead of having them like this, instead of that one way you have one and then the 90 degree one uh, per per perpendicular to it, it does produce a fair bit more power. Um, so you start that, that goes, does its own thing, okay, engine is basically running. Now uh, you engage the clutch, the grabber grabs on, it spins the flywheel, it spins the alternate gears, and then spins the main gears. Um, now, these teeth here on a real end, uh, transmission would be considered the dog clutch. Um, what it basically does is uh, it slides in and uh, allows it to move. Now, the main difference here is there's only two teeth instead of like 10 or 15 teeth or however many teeth there are on an actual transmission, which is a lot more than there are here. Um, this is basically just... Uh, this is more of proof of concept rather than um, actual like realism. So uh, you have the engine spinning the flywheel, spinning these, and then spinning uh, the main gears. Now what you do is you disable the clutch, just like in a regular manual car. You engage first gear, which then attaches the dog clutch, and then you engage first gear. Now what that does is all the energy is put out through these dog, dog, this dog clutch and it uh, goes out through the rod and then through this device out to the output and the output would go to set a, a set of wheels or, or whatever you may be doing because um, you could pro obviously use this more than just a regular car. Uh, now to engage in second, disable clutch, disable first, engage second and then enable the clutch. Um, so this is a little bit loose, mainly because it's just off of one whole uh, brick, or not brick, uh, just peg, basically. Um, it's not too uh, strengthened. Um, there probably is a better way, but this was pretty much, I figured it out, got it working, and I wanted to show it, show it to everyone. So uh, second gear is a little bit faster, mainly because um, it's only going off of one uh, down, or down uh, speed or whatever. So basically what's going on is because they introduce large gears you can have a large gear spin a smaller gear and uh, the smaller gear uh, has less teeth. So if it's spinning at the same speed uh, there are 
less teeth going by in a way. Um, basically what that does is if you have a large gear right here like that on the small gear, uh, the less amount of teeth that are on here, it'll take longer to spin all of the same amount of teeth on here. Um, so that's basically what's going on. Uh, for This is for second gear. So second gear is just one half of uh, the flywheel speed. Um, that's how that's how the gear was, gears work in this. They're, they're almost literally one half. So you have second gear is half the speed of the flywheel, and then these gears up here are doing the same thing, a large gear to a small gear, half the amount of teeth, uh, and then that makes it a quarter of the speed of the flywheel. So right now the output is going half the speed, so if I changed it to first gear, it would, it's now going a quarter of the speed. And that's pretty much it. Um, uh, I got the perpetual motion idea from other YouTube videos. Um, this is the first, this should be the first video of this kind of design for the perpetual motion engine. Um, all I want is just as long as the credit can be brought back to me. Not like, not like I'm, okay, I'm not going to just take full credit for this because it was based off someone else's idea. But this kind of perpetual motion engine is the first of its kind. And I haven't seen any other videos of it on YouTube as of yet. So, I mean, that's there. Um, this clutch was improvised on by uh, another YouTube video. Um, it, the only difference here is the grabber. Uh, and then all these is just um, basically, uh, you know, basic theory of large to small gears and then uh, the transmission I saw from other YouTube videos. Um, sorry about what I said about the perpetual motion engine. It's just like, I don't know. It's just the feeling of I tried it and it worked better and I don't want it to go to waste, but I don't want to be like a dick or anything. So I'm, I'm sorry in advance, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, I recorded a previous video, and after about 10 minutes, it broke, which I was a little surprised by. Um, but I really wasn't, because it's still just weak. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them. Um, I don't really care if you subscribe, because I'm just posting this, because I may as well post what I build. Um, and that's really it. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.